Hello everyone. Today we are making a video installation, video tutorial um, for installing the Lamar Pain Protection Film. The owner of the car is uh, Tesla Bjorn and uh, he bring us uh, this Model X and uh, for full front pain protection installation. So a little bit I'm going to explain about the material itself. That's a uh, self-healing clear coat, we call this in the market clear bra. It's made by the three layers. The top of the layer is the clear coat, which gives a very big shine effect and it doesn't have the orange uh, effect, which is like, a, like other brands have. And uh, the second coat is the urethane. That's the most important coat for this material because it, uh, it's very strong very hard to break the material, protects from all the stone chips, salt, dirt, heat, water and any kind of other debris and or damages for the your paint. So basically and uh, that's the most important layer of this film. And the third layer is of course the adhesive. The most important goal to by installing this film is to protect the car. So it's not the color change, the main goal is to protect the car. So, what do we have here? Is we have pre cut patterns. We're using a Lamar Precision Cut program. So, we're choosing the car make, year, model, and we're choosing all the parts we need. So, we pre cut the pattern. So, as you can see, we have a headlight here. So, that's exactly the same pattern as a headlight. It doesn't cover full headlight because the installation has to be a little bit from the edges because uh, the, if you lay the material around the edges this is the very uh, it's very bad for the long term durability so you have very very small thin gaps from the edges the same as on the hood, the same as on the fender, on the lamps and everywhere you're trying to match everything in the same position but anyway, this makes installation very easy you're not cutting on the car and it's perfect symmetry. So here we have a light, here we have a full fender, which is pre-cutted. Of course, we have all other parts in the boxes. Um, installation tools we're going to use is very basic. It's just simple, strong, hard squeegee. We have uh, different kind of sizes and different kind of shapes, so we can reach some difficult areas. Also, we're going to use a Soapy solution, which is a couple drops of uh, Johnson's baby shampoo and rest is the water. So this is the main actually tool for the, for the installation. You will see this later. And we're gonna use a second uh, solution, which, which is 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so we mix 25% of isopropyl alcohol and the rest is the water. So this is we call it tack solution. When you spray this and you squeeze out, it will tack straight away. The slipper solution is just to lay the film so it doesn't stick together. We can move, adjust the position, stretch it where we need, and then we squeegee out the water. And there is some cases where we have to cut on the car. And the customer wants maybe to get as close as the edge as possible. Uh, in those cases, we're using the product which is called knifeless tape for paint protection. So, that's very easy. Basically, you lay the paint protection as close to the edge or wherever, whenever you want. You can make some forms or something like that. You lay the material, and this tape inside it has a metal filament. You just pull it out, and it cuts the material for you. So the next stage is we're gonna clean the car, uh, clean the dirt, clay bar it. We actually did this before, and we're gonna lay the hood and you're gonna see the installation video. Um, about cleaning, we already did the cleaning but uh, we want you to show uh, the process. First of all what you do after you wash the car and all the dirt is gone, you have to use a clay bar. We're using a clay glove but the clay bar will make the same result. So basically what you do is you spray the slipper solution mixed with water and soap on all the hood on the clay bar and you wipe it in the circular motions in horizontal vertical motions to clean all the surface what it does it makes the surface even and removes all those small spectacles all those small asphalt or stone chip 
bumps, let's say like that. So it makes the surface as even as possible. The second thing after you do this, you clean all the water, all the dirt. And the last step before you start inflation, you just use a regular degreaser. Uh, we're using in this case Saber Denison surface cleaner. So what it does, it, it removes all the oils, all the dirt, fats, and uh, makes the surface ready for the installation. So what you do is you just spray it everywhere and uh, you just clean it off. So once it's done, it dry out very quickly. You can use isopropyl alcohol mixed with water. It will make the same result. So you should clean everything around uh, lights, fenders. You don't want to get any dirt under the material. If you get dirt under material, you can clean it, but the cleaner the area, the better it is. Okay, so we have a pre-cut pattern for the hood. First thing we're going to do is we're going to spray this slipper solution of mixed soap and water, like I told before. We're going to spray it all around the car. Don't need too much, but uh, because then it will be very slippery, we're going to spray the bumper and everything so we lower the dust probability. We're going to spray the ground, the floor. We're using pressurized sprayer that uh, makes the job faster. And uh, on the parts like hook, it's much better to have a two people because then you lower the chance to get dirt on the material. If this is possible to make alone, of course it's harder. But if you have assistance, that will help. So we're slowly going to remove the backing paper. And the moment we remove, we're going to spray the water. So the material doesn't stick each together and we don't have a problem. Try to keep it as high as possible from, from the floor. One more time water. And then we slowly going to lay the material. how it should go, so you should follow all the time, all the cuts. 
We're going to do the same here. And we're going to do the same here. So that's it for now. Don't be scared of all those wrinkles. We can adjust the film later. And the big bubbles, you can always squeeze it with the hand with the water. Uh, but anyway, when, when we're squeezing out the water, they usually flatten out. We can always lift the film back, spray the slippery solution and fix it. If we have some dirt or dust we feel with the hands or we see or some hair, we can lift it and scrub with the hand and remove it. So the installation can be it can take even one or two hours, as long as you spray the water and uh, continue the same steps, it will be the same end result. So what I'm doing is I'm squeezing this water out of the center because that was my tap point. So I don't care about this because I can always lift and I see that here is a little bit needs more material so I will stretch it after. So I'm squeezing this water out. So we're going to do the same other side. And uh, once, the, once you finish the other side, it's recommended to spray more water under the material because some of the water drip down and uh, it can be some dry places, so this can cause uh, air bubbles and all that kind of stuff. So again, you just even though you tap here, it doesn't matter, you can every time lift it, spray the water and just lift this material. You can find the right place, grab it, and just lift it. I'm going to spray water on it. Again, try to remove all the big air bubbles. This will make the job easier. And try to find the right place. Even if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal, this material is flexible, you can always take it and just a little bit stretch it there or there, usually you're going to find a place. There is cases when you have to, when the pattern is, uh, the pattern is usually always okay, but because this is a hand job, you're trying to get the best position as close to the edge as possible. But there is cases when you have to cut the excess around the edges. Because if on the other side there is more material than here, uh, then I have to cut the other side. But usually that's very, very micro excess you have to cut. So if you have a good knife skills, which you have to train it, a uh, sharp knife, we're using usually we're using a 30 degree blade, it's very sharp, you have to click it every, every single cut. So if you have a good knife skills, you can cut without scratching the card. Because this material is particularly hard to cut, because it's very thick. Not like a wrapping material, you can just touch with a knife and it will trim it and cut it. But this one, you have to have a special knife skills. Some people are using carbon blades, but uh, me as a professional installer, certified and follow, I will never ever recommend to use carbon blades on the car because this is a heavy duty blade. Even though you have very good knife skills, you can always scratch car. Microfiber towel. And we're gonna put the squeegee under the microfiber towel and we're gonna squeegee out the edges so the fiber will absorb all the water which is on the edges. So this will give me uh, Nice overview where I have little excess where I don't have. Most of the cases you don't need to cut, but uh, it's a hand job. So, so when the hood is done, now we're gonna move to the fender side. So here I have a pattern, and this time I'm gonna do this alone. So I'm gonna take a water. First of all, we're going to spray all the fender area full of water. We're going to spray the tires, the plastic wheel wells, so we lower the surface energy so the dust can catch it. 
and we're going to spray some water on the fender itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay this pre-cut pattern on this car. Um, lay it on this side. So I'm doing upside down. So I'm going to take a water and I'm just going to release the liner here. I'm going to spray the water and carefully release the line. Some people have a big glass so they can lay the part. Uh, in this case we don't have here. So we're using the car as a glass. Material under the car or street or the trash bin because this is very slippery and you can injure yourself very quickly. So I'm gonna take the pattern now. I'm gonna carefully lift it and slowly go to the car. I'm gonna place it just approximately in position. First thing to do is to spray water again so we Solution. In this case, this pattern is made by the computer, so the top part wraps around. But I'm gonna trim this piece because I know from experience that for the long term, to wrap around, it's not good. So, but this pattern, you can choose multiple patterns uh, that goes on the edge or goes around the corner, but in this case, we choose the option so it goes a little bit around the corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with my alcohol solution again. I'm going to tack it squeegee. Yeah. And I'm going to find the corner and tack it in the place. Yes. I'm going to move on to the other side, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to pull this material a little bit there. And also try to get this line straight. Right there. Once we are here, we can, uh, I see that we have too much excess here. So actually too big. You can just lift it up again back. And a little bit stretch this material. Now we don't have this excess here. And I'm gonna spray the water solution again. Take my bigger squeegee. And I'm gonna start to work downwards close to this area because this is gonna be my problematic area because this material is not so flexible we have to feed this material here so and we're gonna stop till there here we're just gonna lift the material a little bit with uh, more water and we're gonna hook it under because that's a pre-cut To trying to find the right spot and the right place for this material. Sometimes it's really too hard to make something here even if it dries out, it doesn't stick. What you can always do, you can make a symmetrical relief cut so the material relaxes here and then you can squeeze it there and there and you have a, in this case, the cut out, the relief cut will be in this place so basically it's not visible and you can join them as close as together. So, 
arms are in the wrong place, you can always lift it back a little bit, stretch the material and place it in the right place again. That's the most important thing, try to find the right spot. In this case I see that it will be way too hard to feed this material in. Best case scenario will be to remove this uh, blinker, but on this particular car, without braking, it's very hard to remove this blinker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the material so I don't scratch the car. And I'm gonna place my knife, not touching the cardboard, and I'm gonna make a relief cut. If it's a little bit more straight, you can after uh, trim it around. I'm going to take my alcohol solution and spray it here. Still need a little bit more. That's it. So now once it's there you see that the material will relax and you can just squeeze out the water. And that's totally normal working with this material. This is not a wrap vinyl which is flexible, you can feed it, you can stretch it, you can heat it. That's not, it's a flexible but it has a limits because it's very thick, it's 200 microns. So you have to be smart because the most important goal is to lay the material symmetrical and second thing is so it stays for five years. You don't need to be a hero and try to lay this material but it will pop off someday and the dirt will get in and then you have to redo a whole job. It's much better to explain for the customer that you just cut and make a symmetrical line and it stays on the car. This place it has very much water so again that's the situation where you can take a microfiber just push this water as much as possible and then just to wait until it will dry out and then you can squeeze everything back and it will stick. You can heat a little bit to speed up the process, but uh, if you heat too much, this material will just melt straight away. Okay, so. so now one of the last process for this Model X is the back seats. Uh, Tesla made very nice seats, but unfortunately those are very scratchy. And every single scratch from your pants, from the shoes, from the bag, uh, any kind of scratch will be very, very visible on these black gloss seats. Uh, but there is always solution, paint protection. So <clears throat> what we did now, actually there is a pattern on computer, which also can pre-cut the seats for us. But uh, it has a split in between. Uh, which makes easier installation and go around the, cur uh, around the curve. But uh, what we find out is that it's possible to make from one piece, which looks much more aesthetic and uh, much more solid and you can cover a little bit more coverage uh, for the back seats. So the all three seats are already done and uh, that's the final seat. So what we did now is we ran a knifeless tape, what we showed in the very beginning of the video. So this will cut for us the material at the end of the installation and uh, now we're going to show how to install the seat. So lay down the, some kind of sheet or anything so it can uh, absorb the water because with many water dripping down. You don't need too much water but just spray so we have slippery. And here I have uh, just a random template for the seat. Usually it takes about 10 minutes for one seat to install, let's say 15 minutes. So space here so you have to try your best adjust the seat and etc so the hardest part of the seat is the curve 
this curve. So we want to have enough material so we can get to the knifeless tape, both sides. And we're gonna start from our permanent hinge on the top, so the seat doesn't, the material doesn't move. So we take our tack solution, and just spray it. Now we're gonna a little bit stretch this material down so we don't have, have too much excess. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this material a little bit shorter. I'm gonna spray my tech solution. I'm going to a little bit stretch this material, but not too much because you cannot stretch too much, but you can stretch a little. So I want to stretch just enough so I can get around the corner and squeeze out the water. Once I'm here, I'm just going to like it. So the tack solution gives me this squeegee and tack so the material doesn't lift back so later on we're gonna make it better. Now here there is a big curve, you want it or no you have to make a relief cut here. So you just lift the material and very carefully don't scratch the seat just cut the material so it relaxes. You see it now we can swing around and we're just gonna work this what material That's why this material is good if you're gonna do this alone in the home. You have very big chances to make a mistake, but you can always fix it. And just a little stretch it down. finish off this other side because it's very hard to make a video from here and then we're gonna come back when we're gonna cut around everything. So we finished the um, squeegeeing and you can see we run on top of the knifeless tape like extra tape which is uh, which will give us the nice sharp clean cut. Uh, unfortunately we lost a little bit knifeless tape here so when we finish cutting we have to a little bit trim it because this knifeless tape is loose here so this cut will not be nice but everything else should be nice and smooth so I already released the filament from the knifeless it's like a metal wire string now I'm just gonna pull it into the direction how the film goes as you can see I'm pulling the wire no need to rush you can always stop so here we have a problem and we keep continuing. Go down, 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 down. That's it. Then we remo remove the excess film. Tape. 
Now once we remove the, there is a string from the knifeless tape here, so we have to remove it and on the moment we remove it we have to, second, no problem here. So when we're removing this, we have because there was a glue and there is like excess oils here. So when we remove, we have to pull to our side and spray the alcohol solution here. Then we have a nice clean edge, which will stick permanently there. All the way. Now once we're done, take our squeegee and microfiber and just finish everything to the place. So you can see everything becomes invisible. Except here we have very unclean cut because we lost the knife list tape here. So we're probably gonna need to trim. So it makes a nice cut. All the way. Yeah, so again. If there will pop up small, some small fingers, they will usually just when, once it's dry, you just press with the finger, they will stick straight away. Here we're gonna trim a little bit this small stuff. And I want to clean everything. You can see that that is almost invisible stuff. No edge to see. Black is black. Still wet. Once it's gonna be dry, it will be totally invisible here. So that's it with the seats. We're gonna finish clean everything around and we're gonna move to the headlights. So the last step for the car is the headlights. We have fog light and the main headlight. So that's one of the easiest process. It's very quick, very fast. Spray a little bit of water. Place in the right place. Don't need too much water because it's straight, it's flat, so that's quite easy. I'm just gonna move it out. We can still have it adjust if we need. And now we're gonna press harder. That's it with this, clean the water. This light is very easy. Some cars have very difficult lights. Unfortunately, Tesla also has very fragile lights, so it is very big recommended to protect them especially in this car, that's very important. So we're gonna take our tech solution now, we're gonna find the right spot here, and we're gonna just place it so it looks nice and symmetrical. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Again, tech solution, and we're gonna shift this material a little bit backwards so we have enough tension so these wrinkles can hide out and be squeegee out that's more than enough now we're gonna work it all the water from top to bottom again try to not push the water there because you can trap it Now protected. 
now you can see that is the finished product shiny still in drying process but you can definitely see how clear it is it doesn't have any effect on the material it's like a paint so all the edges basically hard to see everything is symmetrical from far away it looks like a original car but now it's protected so now the car is protected from all the stone chips all the UV light all the salt all the water the seat is also protected with the same material Lumar gives a five-year warranty for this product um, once the installation is done usually you have to wait up to seven or fourteen days until completely dries out but uh, now because it's cold outside probably it will take a little bit longer so some kind of watermarks or some very mini bubbles can be visible but they usually go away the bumper everything is nice and shiny